have not worked in the theater, <laughs> um, though uh, you know, I was fortunate enough years ago to be taken backstage of the Met Opera. It was incredible. And you know, it, the, the stage back there is about, I'd say, two or three times the size of the actual stage that you know, the audience sees out front. And it's, it's a jumble of wires, props, uh, workers. And um, you know, when I when I caught a glimpse of that, I, I was just fascinated. It was it was a lot more interesting than what was going on up front. You know, no, no offense to the Met Opera. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kenichi Hoshine. This is my solo show at Hollis Taggart titled The Magician and the Thief. Theater and you know, uh, movie sets in particular, um, everything, it, it, it's about the artifice or it's about uh, trying to project uh, something that's not real uh, or you know, so, something that's fabricated uh, in, and make it into something real so that the audience believes in it. And um, a lot of times I, I feel like paintings are that way, you know. Um, of course the mediums are completely different and, you know, we don't have to work with like a whole crew, but, you know, I, I think as of late I've been piecing together all my paintings in, in kind of that manner. Um, you know, I, I think when, when people uh, look at the painting, they're, they're drawn to some of the colors and shapes and they, they call that, you know, the, I don't know, carnival-esque or theater-esque. Um, but for me, it's, it's not only the colors, but it's also, you know, like the specific mark making or, you know, some of the passages I used and, you know, the way I um, have them layered, uh, almost like a stage set, if you will. Um, so, yeah, there, there's kind of a lot of that <laughs> packed into <laughs> every single painting. When I was when I started working on, on these paintings, I, I was looking at a lot of medieval uh, imagery. Uh, they, they came from manuscripts, I guess etchings. A lot of them had to do with uh, alchemy, and uh, I, I'm just fascinated by it because I think that I can't wrap my head around it. And when when I can't wrap my head around something, I'm, I'm just fascinated. Can, can I spin? <laughs> I was trying not to because, like, I didn't want—I didn't want to be like so obvious as to what. 